Hello and welcome to another Photo Party Station video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the video feature in Photo Booth Upload. Now the very first thing we need to do before we can start using the video feature in Photo Booth Upload is create a video event. Now we do that by opening up a browser window and navigating to login.photopartyupload.com. Now you'll need a Photo Party Upload account to do this and if you don't have one you can easily create one on this page as well but if you do have an account click the login button up here in the top right hand corner and log in once we log into our account we can scroll down to the bottom and click on create new event we'll select a date for our event Give our event a name, fill out all of this information, and click on Next. Now just like we would any other event, we're going to enable which services we want to offer, Facebook, Twitter, and email. I'll select all three. For Facebook, I'll select Wall Message. For Twitter, I'll check that box. For email, I'll check that box. We can scroll down a little bit. This is important. We need to make sure that we also check this box here, Upload Video. Now, as you can see, when I click that box, it automatically clicks these Generate Unique URL boxes. We'll scroll down some more. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a promo video before the actual video that we will be recording. So because I want to do that, I'll need to also check the box Add Promo Video. I'm also going to add a watermark graphic overlay to my videos, so I'll also check that box. I'll scroll all the way to the bottom and I'll click on Next. That'll bring me to this page here where I can enter in all of my event settings for all of my features. and I can scroll all the way down to the bottom. As you can see here, I have my unique URL page settings where I could add a header image. I could input some text to display on that page. I can add a background image. This is where our video will be hosted for free. We can add a page title. I'm going to leave all of these settings blank just for this video. And as we get down to the bottom, we can see the promo video box. Now this video must be an MP4 format, and it cannot be any larger than 10 megabytes. So if you have a promo video or a video that you would like to show to your guests before they see their video, you'll need to convert it. And if you don't know how to convert it, you can always just click on this little blue link right here. That will redirect you to a website that will convert your video for free for you. Now I've already done that and I can just simply click on upload a file and select my 30 second long commercial mp4 video promo. Click on open and that will upload the video. You can see a little percentage bar and once that's finished it will preview the video and I'll know that it's successfully uploaded. There is my preview. Now moving forward here's my video overlay. Now the video overlay or the watermark for the video needs to be a 1024 by 768 pixels PNG file. Now I've already created this file in Photoshop, so I'll click on Upload a File and I'll select my video watermark PNG file. That will also upload and show me a preview down here at the bottom. That's how I know it's successfully uploaded. I'll click Next, and then I'll click Accept, and that will save those event settings. Great, so now that I've created my video event, I'll make sure that I have Photo Party Upload Helper running, which I do. And I will click down here in my taskbar 
this little white arrow, and here's the helper icon. I'll right click the helper icon, I'll select events, and then I'll select refresh. And that will download that video event that I just created to the helper so that I can select it and use those video settings moving forward. Okay, so it's downloading my event and all of my event settings. Great. Once that finishes, I can go back to the helper and I can right click the camera icon and I can select events and I can select my video test event. Now I'm also going to go back and right click and select configure and now I'm going to select a transfer folder. This is the folder that I'd like to use uh, to transfer my videos to the iPad. So I'll click, click here to change the transfer folder and I'll browse for my video test folder and I'll select that folder. Now here is my transfer folder. Anything that goes into this folder will show up on the iPads. Now I'll launch Photo Booth Upload. Okay, great. Now that Photo Booth Upload is launched, I can hit S on my keyboard, which will enter the settings screen. Now the very first setting that I'm going to address is the video settings. We can get there by clicking this video settings tab up here at the top. And we just need to make sure that disable video is not checked. If it is checked, then this button down here will not be there. So I recommend keeping all of these settings default. If you'd like to mess around with these settings, you can always change the video compressor or you can change the video mode to a different frame rate. So we're going to keep all of these settings the same and now we're going to click on questions. So you can see I already have a question created. I'll delete that and start fresh. So we can add three different types of questions for video. We can add a video question, we can add an image question, or we can add a text question. For this tutorial, I'll keep it simple. I'll add a text question, so I'll click on that button here, and I'll write, what is your favorite color? And you can see that I can choose how long I want this question to stay on the screen, and I can choose how long I'd like to give my guests an opportunity to answer this question. I can also change the text color, the background color, and the font. So I'll keep all of these settings the same. I'll click on OK, and there's my question. It pops up right here. Now that's all we need to do. I'll simply click on OK, and I'll select Video. Now when I click on the Video button, you can see here it reads the question to me. What is your favorite color? And now it will give me a countdown and 30 seconds to answer this question. So my favorite color is blue and green. And I'm finished. So now I can actually just click on this finished recording button and that will stop the video short. Now I can choose to share this video now directly from the photo booth or I could disable that share button and I could only click on done. That would immediately send that video to the iPad. So we're done here. One thing that we do need to check though before we move forward, I'm going to hit S on my keyboard and we need to click on preferences and we just need to make sure that we have a file name prefix, which I already do, and our output folder is the folder that we want to have the helper watch. So essentially we're taking the video with the photo booth it's going to the output folder and photo party upload is watching that folder and it's sending those videos to the iPad we can also click this sync with iPad button and that will sync the two folders together so now that we've done that we can click escape so just to give you an idea of what the final product looks like I can open up my folder here these are the videos that transferred over to the iPad and this is what is sent off with the video promo, the video watermark, and then my recorded video. When you do something healthy, it influences those around you. Health connects neighbors, coworkers, and especially family. Each of us has a health footprint that has a positive impact on those around us. Did you know you had a health footprint? Let Anthem show you. 
We can help you and those around you get healthier. Learn more at anthem.com slash connects. So, my favorite color is blue and green. And I'm finished. So, now I can actually just click on... So, that's what the video will look like. Um, and that's how you use the video feature in Photo Booth Upload. I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have any more questions, you can visit our website at photopartystation.com or you can send us an email, info at photopartyupload.com. Thank you so much for watching.